In less than a week, we've gone from seeing the first images of the Starlink mini dish to now it's for sale in the United States, at least for a limited number of people. So last night, people began getting emails from Starlink inviting them to purchase the new Starlink mini dish for $599 and $30 a month for service. Now I know you're probably pretty confused. Just a few days ago, Elon Musk posted that the Starlink Mini would be half the price of the standard kit. So why is it $100 more expensive? There's a lot to unpack here. So in this video, I'm gonna be going through all the details of this invitation only program, where the Starlink Mini is available, why it costs $599, and I'm gonna be talking about this Mini Roam service plan for $30 a month. So welcome to Starlink Hardware. My name is Colby, let's jump right in. If you've missed my last few videos, the Starlink Mini is Starlink's new ultra portable laptop size travel dish that's super lightweight, under three pounds. It's very small, like, like I mentioned about the size of a laptop, and it's gonna run directly off of DC power. It's got an integrated router, so it's a very small all-in-one package. So last night I saw on social media several reports of people getting emails from Starlink inviting them to try out the Starlink Mini. So it looks like the email invites that are being sent out are limited to United States customers only. And it looks like it's basically longtime customers who currently have a residential subscription that are getting invited. And I'm sure that they're gonna do this in batches. So maybe the first batch of invites went out last night and I'm sure they'll probably keep inviting people as time goes on. A lot of people were surprised to see in that email invitation the price to buy the Starlink Mini is $599, plus an extra $30 a month for the Mini Roam service plan. But for now, for the Starlink Mini launch, it looks like it's only an invite-only program right now. So it's not a widespread release, it's not a widespread launch. You can't go to the site and order it. You have to get invited through the email invitation. You have to click the specific link in that email. Only your account is eligible to take part in this promotion, this early access offer, if you will. So let's cover the elephant in the room, the price. Why is the Starlink Mini cost $599 when the standard kit is $499? After all, Elon Musk posted just a few days ago on X that the Starlink Mini kit would cost about half as much as the standard kit. So we were expecting a price between $200 and $300. That would have been about half the price of the $499 standard kit. So why $599? Well, the answer to that lies in the email itself, but also in the support FAQs on the Starlink website. If you search the support documentation for Mini, you can see an article about where the Starlink Mini is available and what it is. And in there, Starlink explains that their ultimate goal is to expand affordable high-speed internet access, especially in underserved areas and areas where broadband internet is not available at all. They go on to say that the Starlink Mini invite only program is basically a trial run just in the United States. They're just offering it at this price for those people with extra money laying around that wanna be early adopters, try the Mini out and give Starlink some feedback on it. So based on the wording on the Starlink website, in the email invitation, and based on Elon Musk's statements in the past over the last few days, I do not think 599 is the normal price for the Starlink Mini. That makes no sense. There's no way that this costs $600 as a normal everyday price when it has a widespread release. We know that it's cheaper to manufacture. We know all the components are cheaper on board. It's a weaker antenna. It's got a slower Wi-Fi router. There's just nothing about the mini kit that makes it worth more than the standard. Now I've seen a lot of comments on social media about people that say, hey, yes, I would pay $599 for that. And that's fine. I'm not saying that you shouldn't pay that much money for it if you get the invite. I'm just saying that don't expect the $599 price to last forever. This is just the invite only program, which Starlink has a history of doing. If you remember with the Gen 3 router and the Gen 3 dish itself, they both were invite only at first with a wider release later on. The other interesting thing in that email invitation was the mention of the Mini Roam service plan. So when you take advantage of this offer and you order the Starlink Mini, you are required to sign up for this $30 a month service plan add-on. Now this is really important. So for this invitation only offer, 
It looks like the Starlink Mini Roam service plan is just an add-on for the residential service plan. So the Starlink Mini won't operate independently on its own service plan per se. It's tied to your residential service plan. So on the support FAQs on the Starlink website, they even mention this and say that you cannot cancel your residential service plan, even if you have the Mini Roam service plan added on, because the, that will cancel both plans. They also say that you can't pause the Mini Roam. So I don't know exactly what that means. Maybe if you cancel the mini roam add-on, you won't be able to add it back during this invite only period. The other thing is that the mini roam service plan is data capped, and this is unlike any other Starlink service plan. So they are hard capping you at 50 gigabytes for each month. You'll have 50 gigabytes of mobile data on your mini roam service for your mini dish to use. After that, if you need additional data, you can purchase it at $1 per gigabyte and that buys you mobile data. It does not use your standard residential data. So when you have this mini dish added onto your residential plan, your main residential dish will use that data and then your mini dish will use that mini roam data. So at least for now, what it will look like for your average customer is that you'll have a total bill each month of $150 per month, depending on if you live in an area where standard service is discounted or normal price. So for a normal price customer, you're gonna have $120 a month for that residential base service plan, and that covers your standard dish, and then you'll pay an extra $30 a month for the mini roam add-on to your residential service plan. So 150 bucks a month total, you'll be able to use the mini dish anywhere throughout the United States while you're traveling. And then your residential standard dish is just for use at home. Another way that this mini Rome add-on plan is different from regular Rome is that it's only gonna work in the United States. So the regular Rome plan works anywhere within the same continent that you're at, but that's not the case with mini Rome yet. It just works in the United States at this point. And then finally, regarding this mini Rome service plan, the support FAQs do say that you can upgrade your plan to mobile priority. So if you want to upgrade your account type to a business account and subscribe to mobile priority for $250 a month, you can do that. That will separate your account. So it'll separate the mini dish from your residential account into a new business account on a mobile priority data plan. And as you know, the mobile priority data plan does have global access. So you would be able to use your mini dish anywhere where Starlink has active coverage in the world. Another caveat to the mini Rome service plan that's different from Rome, it's not gonna be compatible with in motion use. So if you wanna use your mini dish in motion, you'll have to upgrade the plan to the mobile priority data type. You will not be able to use it in motion with the mini Rome data plan for $30 a month. So why is Starlink doing all this? What, what is with these odd pricing and plan changes and everything for the mini dish? Why not just a standard product release like they've done in the past? My theory, my speculation is that it has to do with just a quick cash grab toward the end of the quarter. So at the end of June, we end the second financial quarter of the year. This is a great way for Starlink to charge over, basically overcharge for the mini kit for customers in the United States who have extra money laying around that just want early access. So they're gonna be charging a premium for the mini kit based on that demand. They'll do this for a few weeks and probably earn a bunch of revenue because the profit margin on that kit is gonna be pretty high at a retail price of $5.99. And then once the sales start slowing down from the email invite, they're gonna do a wider release. Maybe additional email invitations or perhaps just a wider release maybe state by state at a time, or who knows, even the entire United States at one time. In addition to the actual product itself, the Starlink Mini launching for select users in the United States, we actually have the shop page that's been updated now with accessories for the Starlink Mini. And this was also a huge surprise to me. So if you look at the shop page for the Starlink Mini, you'll find zero camping or RV accessories. The only thing that you'll find are a couple of roof mounts for fixed home installations and then a couple of uh, other accessories that we already knew about, like the Gen 3 router, Gen 3 router mount, cable routing kit, that sort of thing. Products that already exist for other Starlink models. So this one threw me off a lot because even in the mini spec page that we saw leaked a couple days ago, they had mentioned this USB-C adapter that would allow you to plug your Starlink directly into a USB power source. And that's not even in the shop. You can't even buy that yet. There are no travel cases. There are no other kinds of DC power adapters. 
nothing related to what the Mini, in my opinion, was intended for, which is a portable use cases, uh, something that's easily packable, easily movable, low power draw. You know, people are gonna be buying these to put on their vans and RVs or even in a backpack to travel out into remote areas. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to me that they've chosen to focus on home installation products like roof mounts. When, in my opinion, the standard dish makes way more sense for home installation applications, especially when you consider it's actually cheaper than the Starlink Mini. So what do you guys think? I mean, $599 for this dish that was supposed to cost half of that. Have you gotten the email invite? Are you gonna buy it if you do get the email invite? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Let's chat about it. I have not gotten the email invite yet, even though I've been a longtime customer since really early 2021. But if I do, I'll definitely be purchasing that dish even at the inflated cost, just because I wanna be able to bring you guys content regarding the Starlink Mini. I do plan to have a bunch of reviews. I'm gonna review every product, accessory that comes out for the Mini. I'm gonna be reviewing the dish itself. I'm gonna be comparing it to the standard in terms of like performance and power usage, things like that. So be sure that you're subscribed, not only to the YouTube channel, but our blog as well at sterlingcardware.com. And if you enjoy the kind of content that we put out, if you enjoy all these update videos where I'm bringing you basically information as it comes in real time, consider joining our YouTube supporter membership program. So if you click the join button below this video, you can get more information on that. Basically, it's like a monthly membership. Those contributions help me to make more content for you guys. That helps me pay for the Starlink equipment that I buy, the Starlink products and accessories that I review. So if you'd like to go above and beyond besides just subscribing and commenting on my videos, consider joining our supporter program. As always, I really appreciate you watching and following along and we'll see you in the next video.